This story begins more than a century ago, amid the hustle and bustle of Tokyo in 1916. Two visionary companies, Tokyo Ishikawa Jima Shipbuilding and Tokyo Gas, an electric industrial, dreamed of building cars, an ambition that at the time seemed like a fairy tale in the land of cherry blossoms. Yet from that dream, in 1919, Japan's first truck was born, a simple yet monumental birth at the Fukugawa plant. The journey wasn't always smooth. A massive earthquake in 1923 shook the very foundations of this fledgling industry. But, just like the never-fading Japanese spirit, truck production rose again in 1927. Then, in 1934, a name that would become legendary was born Isuzu, meaning 50 bells, taken from a sacred river flowing in Mi Prefecture. Isuzu was not just a name, but a symbol of durability and innovation, a first pillar in Japan's truck industry. After World War II, Japan rose from the ruins, and its automotive industry joined in that revival. The 1950s and 60s were the golden era when iconic trucks started to emerge. The nimble Toyota Toyoich, the agile Isuzu Elf, the tough Mitsubishi Fuso Canter, and the mighty Hino Ranger. These trucks were not just vehicles, they were symbols of Japan's resurgence carrying hope and progress along the rebuilt roads. Japanese truck manufacturing is known for its high standards, precision in every process, and extraordinary production efficiency. The truck manufacturing and assembly process begins with digital design, where the design and engineering teams create blueprints using computer-aided design, CAD-D software, to run detailed simulations of the structure, load analysis, and vehicle dynamics tests. Every component, from the chassis frame to the cabin, is designed to meet specifications for strength, durability, and fuel efficiency. Full-scale prototypes are built and tested in laboratories, as well as on test tracks, to ensure every aspect of the design meets the standards. The primary material used is high-quality steel, selected through a series of laboratory tests to determine its chemical composition tensile strength, and corrosion resistance. Steel with an optimal strength-to-weight ratio is crucial for trucks that must bear heavy loads and withstand extreme road conditions, ensuring that every batch of material used meets international standards. Once the materials are ready, the cutting process is carried out using CNC, computer numerical control, machines, that cut the steel according to blueprint dimensions with minimal tolerance. Cutting techniques using laser or plasma cutting produce smooth and precise edges, reducing the need for additional finishing. Next, the steel pieces are formed through a stamping process with hydraulic machines using special dies to produce structural parts such as the chassis frame, body panels, and cabin components ensuring that the shape and strength of every component are well-maintained. Welding is a crucial stage where up to 95% of welding is performed by robots programmed to follow precise welding paths using MIG or laser welding techniques. These robots are equipped with optical sensors and artificial intelligence, AI, that detect irregularities such as voids or excess material in real time so the welding process can be automatically corrected to ensure that the joints between components have high strength and uniformity. After the main structure is formed through automated welding, subcomponents such as the braking system, suspension, and transmission are attached to the chassis with the help of automated equipment equipped with precise grippers and digital measuring tools to ensure alignment and load balance. The alignment process is carried out using laser alignment tools, which are crucial to ensure that the installation of the wheel axle and transmission shafts conforms to the design tolerances, thus maintaining the truck's stability during operation. Cabin assembly begins with forming the steel panels that are assembled through welding and bolting. After the cabin structure is completed, interior components such as the dashboard, instrument panel, electrical system, 
and seats are manually installed by experienced technicians. Every element is functionally tested to support driver ergonomics and safety. Once all the main parts are assembled, the formed steel surfaces are cleaned through sandblasting or sanding with automated machines to remove dirt, oil, and oxide, ensuring that the paint layer adheres perfectly to the prepared surface. The painting process starts with the automatic application of a primer layer using high-tech spray machines, which increases adhesion and protects the steel from corrosion, followed by the application of the main color coat using precision nozzles to produce an even coat. After the main coat is applied, a clear coat or protective transparent layer is sprayed on to protect the paint from scratches, UV rays, and extreme weather conditions. Automated spray technology ensures that the thickness of the layer is just right, so that the final appearance is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also durable. In the finishing stage, technicians perform a visual inspection and manual touch-ups, attaching identity details such as logos and emblems with special tools to ensure that the final appearance is neat and consistent. The painted trucks then move to the final assembly line, where the integration of mechanical components is carried out by installing the engine, transmission, steering system, and brakes into the truck frame. The engine installation process is performed using lifting tools and digital measuring instruments to ensure that the engine is installed with precision. The use of digital gauges and laser alignment ensures that the engine and transmission are correctly installed thereby maintaining optimal load balance and distribution. The cooling and exhaust systems are also installed and integrated into the truck's electrical system with high accuracy. Integration of the electronic systems involves installing sensors, the electronic control unit, ECU, and other control devices. The cables are neatly arranged and connected to the main system, and each connection is tested using digital measuring tools to ensure that the sensor data and ECU signals work accurately. This process is crucial for the performance of the fuel injection system and electronic braking. After the mechanical and electronic integration is completed, the wheels and suspension systems are installed using digital alignment tools that ensure optimal alignment. This process reduces vibrations while driving, improves truck stability, and contributes to fuel efficiency. The installed wheels are then tested with laser measuring tools to ensure that every component is installed according to design tolerances. The final stage of the assembly line is the installation of identity details, such as logos, emblems, and serial numbers. This process is carried out manually with the help of special tools to ensure that every detail is neat and consistent. The installation of the serial number and the documentation of the quality certificate are very important for tracking and quality assurance, so that every truck unit has a unique identity. After the entire assembly process is completed, the truck undergoes a series of quality tests. Visual and dimensional inspections are carried out using digital and laser measuring tools to ensure that all components are installed according to specifications. The truck is then tested on a test track that simulates real road conditions, including load capacity tests at maximum load, braking tests at various speeds, as well as suspension and steering tests on winding courses to ensure optimal responsiveness. The electronic systems are tested under extreme conditions, both in high and low temperatures, through simulations and road tests that ensure operational stability. Safety tests are also conducted including crash tests, to measure the ability of the cabin and chassis structure to absorb impact energy. All test data is recorded and analyzed to ensure that the truck meets global safety standards. After all the testing stages are completed and the truck is declared roadworthy, the truck unit is prepared for shipment. Each truck is equipped with a quality certificate, test results, and a unique serial number that is meticulously documented. The logistics process is carried out in an integrated manner so that the trucks can be distributed to the market in the best possible condition. In the world of Japanese truck manufacturing, 
four big names have dominated, four stalwarts guarding the gates of quality and innovation. Hino Motors. Hino, the Toyota subsidiary, is not just a truck manufacturer, but also an untiring innovator. Their focus on commercial vehicles, from trucks to buses, is driven by the spirit of continually pushing the limits of efficiency and engine technology. Isuzu Motors Isuzu is the diesel specialist, an expert in creating powerhouse engines that move the world. Their ELF series is not just a truck, but a street legend, a symbol of reliability across the globe. Mitsubishi Fuso Truck and Bus Corporation Mitsubishi Fuso is a blend of Japanese craftsmanship and German technology, producing trucks and buses that meet global standards. Their iconic light truck, the Cantor, is proof that strength can come in various sizes. UD Trucks Once known as Nissan Diesel and now part of the Isuzu family, UD Trucks is an innovator in heavy and medium-duty trucks, always looking for ways to create smarter, more efficient, and more sustainable vehicles. They are pioneers on the road to a greener truck future. These four are not just competitors, but pillars that support one another, forming a unique and robust ecosystem in Japan's truck industry.